Hello boys and girls, I'm going to be explaining to you today a little bit about how to navigate through our website, uh, school district website, in order to find your teacher websites and access to Google Classroom and other resources. I've gotten a lot of questions about where to access my website and where to access my Google Classroom. So let's begin here. You will see this is the main page for our school district website. And I'm going to direct you to click on this link right here. Click here to access your school online learning page. Then once you click there, it's going to take you. Once you click there, it's going to take you to this page right here. And you're going to click here where it says classroom sites, school number three classroom sites. Don't forget to also visit school number three principal site, which we will visit at the end of the video. Um, This is the school three faculty list of emails and websites. This is where you find this little globe right here is where you find all the teachers websites in our district in our school. Then if you click on my school library right here, Yvette Molinado right here library you can see the little globe next to mine click on it and it will direct you to the next page. Here you're going to find the school number three library media center webpage. I have um, created a webpage that is very informative for everyone, for you, for your parents, for anyone coming to look for information. And I try to update it every day. On the home page, I have a special video that I uploaded to my YouTube channel saying hello, giving you a little bit of an inside access to what my little library and office looks like at home. I also update the date every day here, write a little message and what classes should be visiting my website for any announcements. There's also a link right here to the Pigeon Presents Mo Willems. I'll try to access that at the end of the video. Mo Willems has a very, very creative website and in the website there's a live access to a video that he posts every day at one o'clock of him drawing. And if you don't catch him live, you can catch a pre-recording. Uh, if you go further down, you'll see a little bit about me, some pictures, and obviously our school library commercial that we recorded before in the fall, in October. Next, I want you to notice the page, the tabs up here. I have home tab, schedule tab, assignments tab, student pictures. So any pictures that you or your parents send me for my daily challenges, I post there. Um, the Cliffside Park Library tab has a website, has a calendar of, of events, which unfortunately is all canceled as of right now. It has resources that are available through Buckles like Libby, Rosetta Stone, and Hoopla that you access with your library card. Those of you that have a library card, remember that your card number is very important for you to have and your password is the last four numbers of your card number. So it's unique to each one of your card numbers. That's what I did when I created your accounts. There's also a tutorial on how to use your library card on Buckles on BCCLS here. And there's other online resources that I have posted, uh, Epic and more and some library events. So now I want to go to the assignments page. Once on the assignments page, this is what it looks like. Okay, my challenge of this week is to send me pictures of your home library. Do you have a library at home with your books? What does it look like? Send it to me and I'm gonna try to post them. Today I've gotten three pictures, three pictures. And today on Tuesdays is my busiest day of the week and I have one, two, let's look at my schedule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven classes. And say there's 25 kids in each class. Let's do the math. Seven times two is 14, so 140. And five times seven is 35. 140 plus 35, that's how many students I'm supposed to see today. Let me do that quick math. 140 
plus 35, 140 plus 35. I had 175 students today visit my website, or so that's what should be happening. It is Tuesday, and I only had four students send me the challenge of the day picture. So please, please, please visit my website during your indicated library time, and if you find yourself with other free time, come on back. I have a lot of resources and read-alouds for you to look through. Okay, a little bit about the assignments page. The first few tabs are week one. This is where you should have come to listen to a read aloud, kindergarten and first grade right here. Okay, second grade had to read aloud one of my favorite books, She Persisted. It's a new book and it was written by Chelsea Clinton and it talks about uh, 13 women who changed the world. Uh, third grade, this is where your read aloud is. For Amelia and Eleanor, go for a ride. You were instructed to watch this read aloud and then go to Google Classroom and access your assignment. If you can't access your Google Classroom, there is a link directly to it on the bottom right here. So there's a link for Mrs. Ahn's class, Ms. Montecalo's class, Ms. Morich's class, Ms. Philippone's class, and the third graders in Ms. Skolko's class. The same thing goes for fourth grade. It was a two-part assignment for last week and this week. Your read aloud was Malala's Magic Pencil, okay, as we were talking about Malala a few weeks ago. And um, how ironic is it that Malala uh, could not uh, go to school for some time because girls were not allowed to go to school. And although that is not the case for us right now, everybody can go to school in the United States. You know that we are being forced to stay home in order to have everybody remain healthy and not get sick. Uh, so there's a little bit of a connection there in that part. Um, this is where you access the read aloud and you then had to go to your Google Classroom page to access the assignment. And if you couldn't access your Google Classroom page, this is where the links are right here for you to go to your Google Classroom page. Week two, it is Health and Wellness Week. Okay, Health and Wellness Week this week talks about eating healthy, uh, doing exercises and staying physically active, working on yoga and stretches, meditating and breathing to have calming exercises during this frustrating time. And these are some read alouds that I posted for kindergarten, first and second grade. And for third and fourth grade, all you had to do this week was finish the assignment that we started last week. If you completely finished it and turned it in, answering all the questions, then you have free time to look around my website and access other read alouds and listen to any story. You don't, you have to do the ones assigned to your grade but you're not only limited to that. If you find yourself with free time, you can listen to some of the other stories that I have listed on my assignments page. I also have on the bottom here, um, more health and wellness videos. And at the very, very bottom, I have my first two read alouds on my YouTube channel. So if you click on the link right here, it'll take you straight to my YouTube channel and the read alouds. The first one was who grew my soup. And the second one was Dr. Dog. I'm going to try to be having a read aloud go with our, our lesson. Is what the YouTube, here is what the YouTube channel looks like. Okay, um, these two videos that are posted here are old videos that I created a few years ago for my library classes that I took during my master's program. And then these three are the new videos that I have for the week. And I have two more coming up, one tomorrow on Wednesday and one on Thursday. Um, I'm trying to see if I can upload as much content as I can to your benefit. Uh, let's go back and look at my classroom page. Cleanness that my. This is what my Google Classroom page looks like. It has every grade here, and I've been trying to post a comment in first and second grade Google Classroom pages, and I've also been. Uh, posting it to the third and fourth grade to keep up with my work. As you can see, 
a lot of assignments are due on Friday. You can see it right here, due Friday. I'm going to click on one class as an example so you can see where to access your website. I think we've gone over this fourth grade plenty of times, but many of you need a, a refresher, that's fine. And for those of you in the younger grades and you're watching this, it's great that you learn how to do this now so we'll be better prepared for the future. This is one example. This is Mr. Morin's class library page. So this is where I write the um, every day a little bit of an intro. Good morning, day of the week, what's new, what I want you to look at. I want you to visit my page. If, if anything, the least amount of times you should visit my page is on your library day. But if you find yourself with extra time, just keep looking for any updates that I may have. So on the Google Classroom, I have posted the link to my YouTube channel and posted the link to my website. So there should not be any excuses that you don't know where to find the website or you don't know where to find the assignments. So let me show you where to find the assignments. This is just a streaming page where I post announcements. Right here, if you click on classwork, right here, it brings you to this page and I have everything categorized. So if you have a question or a comment, you can click on this tab and write it right on the doc that I have listed there. And if you want to work on your assignment that is due by the end of this week, you can click here on Women's History Month. And let me show you what that looks like. This is what it looks like when you click on it. Women's History Month, three of Mr. Morin's kids turned it in, nine are still working on it, and it says, listen to the read aloud of Malala's Magic Pencil as many times as you would like. Where do I find that read aloud? In my website, okay? And after you do the read aloud, last week you had to answer questions numbers one through through four and this week you had to answer questions five to seven some of you already completed all of them which is great so you have a little bit of extra time now let's look at this is oh this is the same thing if you click on the doc right here let me show you what the doc looks like Normally, each one of you have a doc that I share with each one of you. It has your name and the assignment name on the top. You can type your name right next to where it says name. And once you're done filling in all the questions, you're going to click on the top here on your screen, not mine. There's a button that says turn in. And that's what you're going to do. Turn in there. I hope you're enjoying so far my tutorial. Let's go back and visit the school principal website so we can see what Mrs. Calabrese is up to. You can find it here on principal or you can find it in you could find it there on principal or you could find it in another uh, page, the original page, and it has a lot of information on it that's very important. So there's a daily message, there's a message of the day a parent portal there's a lot of resources here for your classmates and your parents and anyone who wants to view the page and gather information on top of here there's an interactive pledge the daily message parent resources useful links student activities virtual learning packets and more like challenge or story of the day uh, etc So here is a story of the day that she posted, and here is a daily challenge from Mrs. Calabrese. Okay, and this is yesterday's story and daily challenge. Build a Lego model, a tower of, you could build a Lego model, a tower of playing cards or something else. So every day there's a different challenge and a different story or read aloud. 
Mrs. Ahn doing her daily challenge. So boys and girls, if you have any questions, you can email me. But just so you know, the start of accessing everything, just so you know, the start of accessing everything is right here on the school district page. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions, email me, ask me, I will answer. Thank you very much. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.